go. Hey everybody, it's me again. I'm um, just got back from my trip the other day from Mississippi with a couple of my Twitter sisters, Deb and Barbara. Uh, Deb brought me some stuff that she had um, found helping her mom clear out a closet that I'm going to show you and then some stuff that I bought while I was down in, in Gulfport. So the first thing she brought was this necklace. It's actually cloth, probably a belt from something. And then it's got these wooden beads with hearts on it, red and white. And then there's beads in the middle inside the material in between each one of those. Now, I'm not sure what I'll do with that, but I'm sure I'll find something. And then she brought me this choker necklace. Uh, all I gotta say is if somebody wears this and it goes all the way around, they've got a very skinny neck, but it's real pretty. And if I can't find a buyer for it soon, I'll just strip it down and use it for something else. The centerpiece is real pretty though. Okay. And then there was this set of pearls. It's a six strand necklace. But the clasp on this end is broken, so I will definitely be uh, using that for something else. But they all seem to be in pretty good shape. They're not real pearls by any means, but they're, they're not peeling yet. And then this one is one strand, but it's one of those that you have to wrap up to make it. I think we figured out that it was at least three. Uh, layers. It doesn't have, it's got a spring clasp on it, but it doesn't have a marking on who it is. They're not real pearls, but they're all seem to be in pretty good shape. I'll probably sell that just like it is. And this here is not real pearls, and some of the paint's coming off some of them, but I'll probably just take it apart and use the ones I can use and reuse the clasp, which is one of those screw clasps. And then there was this one, which is one of those that you put around your neck and then both ends has a little tassel on it and you just tie a knot in it where you want the knot to go. And it's stitched together somehow. It's not kumihimo, but it's some, <coughs> some stitching because you can see the thread in there. Uh, and there's this little pin, and I just really can't read what that says. No, it says anything. I'll have to get my magnifying glass after it. And there's this little tiny, really cute green and red butterfly pin. It's really small. And then this, and I'm sure this is just plastic of some kind, but it's really pretty carving and uh, color is really good on it. And it was done in Korea, and it's got Korea on it, so, but it's pretty. And there's this stretchy bracelet that needs to be restrung because it's a little bit stretched out, but I think it's pretty cool. I love those rings on there going around and then this long necklace here and that is I don't know if you can tell on the camera but those beads are kind of a dark wine like reddish purple color so, um, let's see if I turn this light on y'all forgive the mess on my desk it's just see it's kind of I don't know if you can, still don't know if you can, I think you can see the red in it, but it kind of has a hint of purple too. And then this one is straight up purple uh, amethyst chips, and it's real pretty. And then there was these clip-on earrings, which I absolutely love. They would go like this. 
Hmm. And I'll just sell those like that. They're too pretty to be taken apart. So that's all the finished jewelry that she brought me. But she, you know those extra buttons you get with clothes, different, you know, dresses and coats and stuff? And there's some beads in some of the ones that has beads in them. Well, this is the beads. This is uh, just a like a glue-on crystal. Um, here is some like amber colored. There's another clear one in there. And these are like crystal set and with silver around it. And these are some just like those, except for they're small, they're tiny. And this is, that's a clear, those are buttons. And then this is just crystals that I can put in any setting. So I can use these to, if I get anything used that has some stones missing, I can replace them. And then there's various seed beads, some bugles. Those are pretty color blue. Some more seed beads, clear seed beads. And this is just a mix of some different color bugles and pearls and gold beads and stuff, just different things. And then there was these rusty red color beads or those two are alike and then these two are like uh, i've already got plans for those suckers and then these two of two different size metal beads and then these are connector beads like links and i'll show you something i think i might be doing with some of those this is a ram um charm i'm not sure can't remember which zodiacs the ram is it aries anyway that's for one of the zodiacs these two and i'm pretty sure these are real because you can't see any white around the hole it looks blue up inside and they are really super cold so they're not plastic they are stone and i think they're real turquoise and then just some different couple of black beads but mostly spacer beads that's a really neat bead. Some little tiny silver, and these are all spacer beads. And then there was a whole bunch of different um, sequins of different types. Some flat, some got faceted stuff in it. I sorted them out a little bit. And then there was these that are different shaped. And these yellow one here, there's two of them, and I'm probably going to use them to make a pair of earrings and put a bead or something in front of them. And then I'm not sure what these are. It looks like those little markers you put in plants to tell what they are, but they're clear. So I don't know what they were used for originally, but I have an idea for them too because there's two of them. I think I can make a, some really neat looking earrings out of them with the help of some Sharpies and uh, maybe some other beads. Some new sequins. Eh, I don't know about that, but we'll see. But I'm thinking plastic, if they're plastic and that's non-porous, and then I can do the alcohol, the alcohol ink with the Sharpies. Okay, that's them. And then, like I said, there was several, there was buttons and stuff. So I had all these safety pins that I can always use. And then this is a strip of purple, tiny purple ribbon, and then a strip of orange, which I think, you know, it's bright orange, it's pretty. And there's quite a bit of that. I know I'll be able to use those. And then there's all the buttons. After I got them all collected, there's all kinds in here. As you can see, all different colors, all different shapes, just a plain silver. I don't know what I would ever use. I could... Buttons are good to use for clasps as well as other things, but 
But here's my favorite ones that I've seen. These, these two toggles. Um, I'm not sure what I'll put those on, but they're kind of neat looking. And this one here I think is real pretty. And I think I'm going to put some yellow or rust color seed beads in the where the holes are and make a ring out of it. And I think this one will make a pretty ring. And there's two of these. So I can't decide whether I want to make rings out of them or if I want to use them as part of earrings. And then there's this one. And I really like this, but I think I'm going to use it like a pendant of some kind. And that's that brass. And this one is absolutely beautiful, and I will be making a ring out of that. And that is blue as far as the camera goes. I can, it's sometimes hard to tell whether it's blue or black, but it's definitely blue. So that's what Deb brought me. Thank you, Deborah. I appreciate it very much. And then what I bought while I was there... Let me let me have one of these back. The first thing I bought. Well, it's not the first thing I bought. We went to a thrift store with the name CC, which I thought, since CC's is the name of my business, that that was a pretty good omen and everything was half off because they were having a going out of business sale and she sold this to me as one necklace but it's actually part of two and she had two dollars on the whole thing so it only cost me a dollar and it's got to be cleaned up I'm pretty sure that's silver the way it's tarnished there but there's no marking on it because it's got design all over it and so I'll clean that up, see if I can use that as a pendant. And then the other side's just got a thing with dose birds on it, cut out of it. And then it's got a clasp, a ring. it's got a ring on it. I don't know if it's part of a clasp or not, but I kind of like that key hanging on it. That's cute. And then she told me about a flea market that was just around the block from her. So we went over there and that's where I spent the most of my money as far as jewelry. Still didn't spend a whole lot. I bought this pendant, which is mother of pearl set in a, some kind of bell, but it's all painted black and the loops and everything on it's black. But I think I might have a length of black chain to put it on. Um, I also bought this necklace, and I think it will go, but maybe not. But with these bracelets, yeah, it matches, don't it? Those. Uh, maybe not quite right, but I got those at a thrift store here a while back. And then... Um, I bought this just basically because I like the colors and some of the stones on it. And they're glass, they're glass beads and seed beads. It's just a long necklace. Looks kind of fallish since we're getting that time. And then I bought this because I just kind of like the shapes of the beads. They're different. They're in pastel colors, but they're just the way they're cut. And they're, they're glass. And they got some bicones in between. And then she showed me these. I asked to see one of them, and she brought the wrong one out and uh, showed them both to me. So I was looking, uh, then she got the right one, and I was looking at both of them. And I asked her how much for the one I really liked, which is this one. And she goes, five, they're both $5. And I'm like, $5 each? And she said, no, both of them for $5. So I got 
this one, which is four layers, metal B, metal discs going around, hammered metal discs going around it. And this one. Now they're not real, but they're just really super cute. And this is the one that looks like coins going around and it's, there we go. Lots of dangle there. So for 250, I thought it was well worth it. I think I could get a little bit out of that. So that's all I got. Oh, wait, the piece of the restaurant. This is mine, I will not be selling it, but I will be doing a new band on the back of it. But I did wear this to the Melissa Etheridge concert while we were down there. But it is my ring. With a little snake on it on the tur over the turquoise. Okay, there you go. And then with Deborah's stuff, also, I didn't say this before, but you've seen some of the bags, but I've got all of this jar full of bags that these buttons come out of, and I can use these little bags to store beads in and different stuff. And then I got all of these little envelopes that I can use in some of my other crafts. So she set me up good here. I just gotta put this stuff away now so I can sit down and start some work. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.